Hello, this is Bobby Stumpley, Director of the CERT Division, with your SEI Cyber Minute. Today we live in a world that is fueled by data and powered by technology. It's built on software developed with such speed and automation that we now need to think about cybersecurity in a new way. In this age of artificial intelligence, cyber adversaries operate with the speed and dexterity on ever-changing attack surfaces. To meet these challenges, we'll have to transcend the capabilities of our adversaries and develop systems in agile, adaptive environments that are resilient in both design and operations. At CERT, we're focusing on increasing confidence in the technology used in the government and defense systems from several directions. We work to establish ways to verify trust under the contested environments we operate in. This includes advancing methods in testing, building new models for security controls, understanding systemic risk, and securing the supply chain. It also means implementing solutions with increased formalism, more automation, and stronger links across the design, development, and operations lifecycle. We help organizations shift left by including security early in systems architectures and design activities, and by incorporating agile and DevSecOps practices into software and systems development. It's important to prioritize not only the adoption of trustworthy components, but the development of confidence in the tactics, techniques, and procedures that support operations in cyberspace. These objectives are important in a world running on the data and autonomy and operations we experience today, and will become even more important over the next five years. In our increasingly complex world, we are redefining approaches to security to address the transformative technologies being adopted throughout government and industry. We remain committed to our mission of finding the answers that will scale in today's environment and adapt to future challenges. Thanks for watching this SEI Cyber Minute. To learn more about how we are helping the federal government achieve the cyber advantage, read my latest post on the SEI Insights blog.